you are fully off grid. You have some solar module, you have an electric car, you have a charging station, but you don't have a system that is able to measure all the time the production and of course increase or decrease the power on your, your electric car. Basically you want that to be done automatically because if you set too many amps and the sun is going to a cloud, your system will become overload because I don't know, your wife can cook something in the kitchen and drain some energy with her I don't know, appliance. So everything can be done right now with Victron Energy and Victron Charging Station. And in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how we can do it because we made some real life tests. So let's go for it. Welcome back to CSD, Claudio here. So before we start the real life test, let me explain you what this test is about. First of all, please keep in mind my system was the test subject for this video, but my system is not really an off-grid system. In order to simulate an off-grid system, I just disconnect my main fuse, but before I disconnect my main fuse, I check the production in order to be sure that in an off-grid mode, the system can deliver the same amount of energy. So I check the production, I uh, leave the main fuse down and of course my system become an off-grid system. In that moment I just connect my electric car, I set the charging station to auto mode and in this way the system will know how to do all the magic because the system will start to increase step by step the production and based on that production the system will deliver energy in a smart array. The first uh, thing that will be power will be my home appliance because my entire home will be sustained by the solar. The second thing will, will try to charge my home battery because I set a rule. I I want to charge also my home battery and of course the rest of the energy I want to go to my electric car but even that my system will know if I don't have enough production for example the sun is going into a cloud my system will not have production and of course will automatically in the few moments will know how to decrease my car power and even can pause my car in order to sustain my home and my home battery. So this is done automatically with Victron system and of course with a Victron charging station and I will let you to see my real life test and after that let's go back here for some suggestions. So we are outside right now and let's check the grid. For example, in this moment, I have the solar yield around 20 kilowatts. So in this moment, my system is running at full power. As you can see, my home battery is charging and of course the EV is disconnected. As you can see over here, I set the charging station to auto mode. So let's make a test. Let's disconnect the grid and let's try to charge the car with this excess of the energy without grid. In off-grid system. So my charging station will act like uh, will be connected in a off-grid system. So let's disconnect the grid and come back and check the settings and of course let's charge the car. So my grid is down. I don't know if you can see this because I have a privacy glass but let's check on charging station. Let's go over here and as you can see the grid is missing. Let's check on iPad. Also we have a focus problem. Let's move the iPad over here. So the grid is down. Let's check what's the production. So in this moment I have a production around 10, 9000 watts because my home battery was set up to charge with only 10 kilowatts in this moment. The EVCS is disconnecting in this moment. As you can see, it's also set on auto. So let's connect the car. Let's take the charging and let's go to Tesla. Let's connect the Tesla. And let's go back to charging station. So. Please be focused over here. As you can see, my production is 10,000 watts. In this moment, the charging station is set to auto mode and the car will soon start charging. So let's wait. It's start charging. Let's make this screen bigger. So as you can see, it's still in auto mode. And of course, I don't have any grid right now. The grid is disconnected. So let's check the production. As you can see, the production is rising in an off-grid mode. And in the, in the same moment, the car power is still rising. Let's check. 36 let's go let's check my home battery is charging with 10 kilowatts so the charging station need few moments in order to calculate the algorithm so in this moment the production from the sun was increased and as you can see also the charging power was increased to the car and in a few moments the uh, home battery will decrease because i set a rule that entire energy in an off-grid mode to go to my car so let's wait for the car because in this moment the car is uh, making the rules Let's wait, almost 5 kilowatts. As you can see, the solar, it's increased right now. So check again, we are in an off-grid mode. Come on car, come on, come on, more power, more power. Five, four, 
almost 6 kilowatts in the car right now in auto mode in an off-grid mode with the Victron charging station as you can see we have a Victron with screen also the same algorithm will work with the no screen charging station but all these details you can see on your phone as you can see my production is rising before I disconnect I had almost 70 kilowatts and of course the EVCS receive more power I wait Tesla to, to drain more energy it's in the morning right now it's very cold the battery is cold so we need to wait a few moments and also I need the charging station to calculate the algorithm as you can see the production was rising we have 17 kilowatts the home battery is charged with 9 kilowatts I set a rule because I want to decrease my home battery and of course move the entire battery to my car battery once the battery uh, of my home rise 80 percent so i have 86 so my home battery will decrease soon and also the the car battery will receive more energy as you can see eight kilowatts come on come on tesla drain more come on almost nine let's see the production production is 20 kilowatts almost 20 kilowatts in this moment and as you can see we increase come on i hope in a few moments the uh, home battery will decrease but i think i have a lot of production right now and i can handle the bolt consumption the consumption from the home battery and of course the consumption from the car the car will increase to i think to the maximum power my car will charge with 70 kilowatts so i will keep you here for a few moments I want to show you the real result, results in the real life because we did some uh, review on the net about the Victron charging station and some people uh, make a bad advertising telling that the Victron charging station is not able to charge on auto mode on in an off-grid system but that's a lie <laughs> as you can see I have the real test over here let's check again I'm on auto mode as you can see the amps was set automatically was increased right now to 18 amps come on let's go back I want to check the main screen as I told you earlier, my home battery will decrease because I have a rule. Once the battery is over 80%, we'll move the entire um, car charging production to my, the entire home production to my car. So as you can see, my car, it's draining 11 kilowatts in this moment. Of course, we are in an off-grid mode. We don't have any grid in this moment. So everything is without grid. I hope that my home battery will decrease. I set a rule around two kilowatts, I think. 1.5 if I'm right but I want to see more kilowatts that is going in into my car in auto mode so as you can see the solar yield was increased I have around 20 kilowatts right now and it's still increasing you know the Victron algorithm is not so fast because he, because it's in an off-grid mode he need to measure the exact amount of the energy that you produce calculate and of course drain uh, that energy and move it to your car battery as you can see take about uh, five minutes to reach almost the maximum of my car it's not the maximum because my car will charge with 70 kilowatts but i don't know how we'll do it right now because it's very cold outside it's in the morning i know i have a lot of production on the morning because i have solar panel on the south so let's check production 22 kilowatts in an off-grid mode my home battery is charging with five kilowatts and of course I hope in the few moments my car will go to 70 kilowatts because it's the maximum that can be charged. But my point in this video is to show you that the Victron charging station without a grid in an off-grid system can work on an auto mode. So if you have solar production, you can still charge your car basically in auto mode. So if you have the excess, the car will drain the energy through the Victron system. So this is the beauty of the Victron charging station. And I, like I told you, you have the same option on uh, no screen version and also on this charging station with screen. So let's check for the last time, almost 15 kilowatts is sending to my car. Come on, increase, increase. I want to see 17, I think it's the maximum. But as you can see also I have increased the solar production basically the system check every time and of course will charge my car I will stop this video because it was too long enough so you got the point the charging station from Victron can charge in auto mode even if you have a system that it's off-grid so so that was the video as you can see the system work automatically in an off-grid mode basically I can charge my car car charge my home battery and of course I can still 
keep my entire home powered by the sun. Everything is done automatically, it's done by Victron, they have a special algorithm for off-grid system, but it's working in reality. We test it and tell me what do you think about this. So, if you like this video and you are not already subscribed to our channel, just hit the bell, hit the subscribe button because we want to receive a notification once we put a new video online. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, write me in the comments below. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech, I hope you learned something from this video and see you in the next one. Bye.